just make an incision here. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob number three coming at you. That's right, we're headed back to Bikini Bottom again. What medical craziness does Bikini Bottom have to offer? A whole lot. Let's dive right in. What the? SpongeBob, just a little blemish, that's all. Dear Neptune's Trident, this is the most severe case of ick yet. Ick. I was thinking he was having an allergic reaction, but ick? It must be some weird fungus, bacteria, virus. If this were to happen in the United States, they're gonna wear their hazmat suits, they're gonna contain the area, they're not gonna be breaking down doors. Back, I say! Oh my gosh, he's quarantined into a cage, but obviously it's not like a respiratory thing, this is more contact. Holy cow, what happened to him? Everybody's in mass. Yep. Who are you people? Sometimes people will be placed in isolation. There are isolated rooms with reverse air, so actually the air is blowing out versus actually blowing in. I wanna go home! You are home, SpongeBob. You just need to stay in this bubble until the ick clears up. Wow! He appears stable, sir. All right, boys, let's pack it up. So obviously SpongeBob is now stuck in quarantine. A lot of us would experience very similar things. Some of the most infectious things that I see typically is measles, obviously COVID-19, and then scabies. Here, help me move this sofa. You got it, Squiddy. Where are we moving her to? Now don't move it till I say... Oh! oh okay, no. it's on my foot. Oh! Oh! oh. Okay! painful. Probably one of the worst procedures I have to do in the emergency department is ingrown toenail removal where you have to numb up the toe and then you actually have to cut piece of the toenail out. Ow! SpongeBob! I told you not to move it till I said oh! you keep moving it? Broken toes, what do you do? Not much you could do. Give somebody like a hard sole boot so it actually doesn't bend. Typically we actually don't splint it. Ow! I don't need you! I can move it myself! <laughs> Oh, oh! You gotta be super careful when you're lifting heavy objects. You gotta lift with your legs, not your back. You'll herniate a disc, you'll pop a ligament, and then you'll be out of commission for a couple weeks. You don't want that. And you split your sofa in half. It'll be really easy to move now. <laughs> Slips and falls, super common. Most common injuries when people slip and fall is actually wrist fractures because you actually reach out to try to brace your fall, but instead you actually cause an injury called the foosh and then you snap your wrist. You gotta think about all those parkour people. When they land, they land and tumble. I don't know why he's dragging his friend like that. It's probably easiest to carry them over your shoulder. Your best bet is actually get somebody else to help you. If that's not an option, then actually maybe placing them on something that you can help pull. Oh, what is this, a snap? Oh, oh. my back. Ah, I threw out my back. We do say we throw it out, but where are you throwing it? You can either have like a slip disc and then you can also then cause muscle spasms, which then will cause more pain and stiffening. The best way to relieve the discomfort is anti-inflammatories, pain medicine, as well as muscle relaxers. Oh boy, now's my chance. SpongeBob for the rescue. No, 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 stay back. I'll save you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I'm ruined. I, oh, you can, it's I, fixed. I, I, I feel great. Don't do that in real life. Your body is in pain and it's telling you to relax. A lot of times we'll give people pain medication. They'll feel better when the medicine's in their system, but we always advise them, take the pain medicine and relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! A lot of times we'll get people that come into the ER not with an instrument in their throat, but the most common is a fish bone. Or it's whatever was sharp that actually cut you still feels like a foreign body. A lot of times our bodies will self-heal as long as you're able to drink and breathe. Hmm, just as I thought. <laughs> You've got that pointy bit from the end of your clarinet stuck in your throat. Yeah. That was clumsy of you. I didn't. It was SpongeBob. Uh, well, there's nothing to do for it but surgery. 
If it's stuck in your airway, you probably try to have somebody grab it with a camera from up top so you don't actually have to have surgery. It's definitely not performed by a squirrel. It is performed by typically a surgeon or even an ear, nose, and throat doctor, an otolaryngologist. The solution to your problem. A submarine. That's right, Squidward. Let me show you. This whole lab is called the Chamber of Shrinkage. <laughs> <laughs> chamber of shrinkage? Okay, don't blame it on the chamber of shrinkage. I'll shrink the sub and myself down to microscopic size. Nice. It's like inner space. And navigate through your brain, down into your throat, and extract the reed from inside. Yeah, not the appropriate way to go into the body. It doesn't connect to your airway like that. The brain is actually like separate casing. There's bones at the bottom of the skull. The only hole is the foramen magnum where the spinal cord goes out. Why don't you just shrink the reed? <laughs> oh, Squidward, always wanting to do it the hard way. There are things that we do where you do things on the outside to do something to the inside. If you ever have a kidney stone and then you want to break it up, you can actually use shockwave therapy called lithotripsy so they break up smaller so they're easier to pass. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. This is the life. And best of all, there's no SpongeBob. Even in SpongeBob and certain hospitals, they have a viewing room. You can view it. They might be on cameras, and then you might be able to have some audio in and out of the rooms as well. It's very common to have actually this, especially in teaching hospitals. SpongeBob, no! What are you doing here? Not enough, Mr. Tentacles. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not funny, but funny. We'll do conscious sedation in the emergency department where we have to put somebody to relative sleep right as you give them medication. You'll actually have people be like, stop, 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 stop. You're like, uh oh, it's gonna happen. We're most eager to see which tool you select first. Oh, geez. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. These are like all the tools that I saw in like Surgeon Simulator. All inappropriate tools. Just make an incision here. <laughs> we got heart, we got weird blood coming out. Oh my gosh, now I'm hungry. Whoa, okay, saw nauseous. In the operating room, there are instances where you actually might use a saw, but usually it's either a power saw, all different types, as well as like wire saws. But big old cleavers like that, no, they don't use those anymore. Whoa! Whoa! Really going to pieces over this nose job. No! That shouldn't be in there. Ooh. <laughs> we'll actually get this a lot where people stick things up their nose, usually kids. Luckily, we have these cool devices that actually have a balloon on the end. So you actually stick it past the device, blow up the balloon, and then you can pull it back out and boop, it all comes flying out. What is this crazy thing? Looks like some sort of weird submarine. <laughs> You're kidding. I hope the submarine is like their version of a hyperbaric chamber. We placed her in an iron lung to help. Oh, her back. it's the iron lung. Iron lung was used back in the day with like tuberculosis to help people breathe. We don't use these anymore. A periscope! Load the torpedoes! That would definitely get you kicked out of medical school and residency if you behave that way in front of a patient. Oh no! The wheels are on there. <laughs> you actually see the bladder on the back side of the device. That is probably where the oxygen is being pumped in and out of. And you can actually see it inflate and deflate, almost behaving like a lung itself. Oh my god. Oh, actually, I feel like my old self again. Accidents actually sometimes make people feel better. A lot of medications that we have were actually found accidentally because they were being tested for something else. Viagra was being tested as a type of hypertensive type medication and they found that it actually caused other things. Super hilarious clips, I loved it. I'm starting to fall in love with SpongeBob. They're very entertaining, just make me wanna laugh the whole time. So if you guys love this video, please watch and binge all the SpongeBob reaction videos right here. And as always, please make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching. Stay healthy, my friends.